Hey folks, uh, I had done a video uh, about a week ago where I said we were starting a project and we've reached the first milestone in that project. And that is for a mod called Community Memes. We have, uh, we, we've got one pretender for every single nation in the game at least. And a lot of them have, you know, two and some of them even have up to like four or five. So, um, yeah, it's really easy to use. Uh, first I'll show you how to install it. Uh, then I'll show you how to use it in the game, and then we'll end the video by looking at some of the pretenders that have been made and showing you how to kind of, if you want to contribute to the project, how to do it. So uh, without further ado, okay, so to install it, you're going to go to uh, Dominion 6, and you're going to go to the Community tab. You're going to click on Workshop, and then you're going to come down here. Uh, you can try to find it in one of these lists. Uh, or you can search in Dominion 6 and you can type in community memes. You can see it's popping up here, but it'll pop up. Bloop. You click on it, it should look like this. You click subscribe. Uh, your computer's gonna have to like download something. Uh, it's basically downloading the mod file. Then you open up Dominion 6. And when you're in Dominion 6, uh, it should have this mod in here. When you click on mod preferences, or mods right beneath uh, tools and manuals. So you click on it and you're done, that's it. So uh, what will happen is the next time you wanna make a map, um, I'll just show you. Okay, so I picked a map that has four starts. We're gonna put four random nations in here and uh, I'm gonna pick the pretender from my nation. I'll just pick something random. <clears throat> and uh, I, have a mo I, I have a command turned on where I can see AI turns. So you'll log into the AI and you get to see, I also have some other mods turned on, but you get to see what they start with. Uh, we'll see if any of these got an awake uh, monster. Doesn't appear they did. Hmm. I'll fast forward a few turns and we'll see. Uh, they're probably dormant. We don't have many imprisoned pretenders. Okay, and I've jumped forward about a year. And uh, yeah, so this is the pretender that we made. Um, this one's very funny. So it's a late age, or wait, is it uh, middle age Marignan? And it's a flagellant build, which interestingly the AI is choosing to build. And um, yeah, the bless is pretty cool. It's quickness, defense plus one, death explosion, uh, and combat speed. So this is like a kamikaze, um, you know, flagellant build. So you like spread them out. Uh, notably, it's it's missing something that you know you might call important, like fire resistance. So I remember the guy, uh, whoever submitted this, I was like, dude. Um, you know you kind of need fire resistance with a death explosion bless. He's like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be a chain reaction of fun. And I was like, okay, well, we'll let that one pass. Uh, they also have a really cool god. Sometimes they'll put gear on it and use it well. Um, other times they won't. Uh, in terms of kind of things the AI will do. But, uh, we'll, we'll actually watch this. Did they... Oh, this isn't, uh, that's, that's Mercs. Yeah. Uh, and then did Pyrene get a cool god? What do we do for them? Their, pod, uh, their god may be dormant. Oh yeah, it hasn't woken up yet, so I'd have to fast forward a bit. So I think this was like almost full scales for Pyrene. Or it's pretty good scales. Oh, what is the bless? Blood Bond, range 5, and Berserker 2. It's also possible they've killed their god. Uh, and Blood Surge. That's cool. So, um, you know, not all the... Um, not all the blesses are like amazing or not all the builds are amazing, but they're all, they all have like a theme. So like, this is kind of cool when the, um, you know, this God wakes up and they have blood surge, blood bond and berserker. That's going to be a fun thing to fight. So will the suicide flagellants, um, well, you know, fun in its own way. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. You don't really have to getting this set up is super easy. You go to the, the workshop page, you, um, you know, subscribe to it, you open the game, you click do the mod, and that's it. Um, it's going to, every time, pick one of the pretenders from the list uh, for each of the AI players. You don't have to do anything extra. Um, what I will say is that uh, we do intend to have significantly more pretenders than we have in it now. Um, you know, the goal is going to be to have at least two for each nation, um, but hopefully we'll get up to the point where we have like three or four for most nations, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'll go ahead and pull up a uh, discord and I'll show you where we kind of chitter chattered about these and some of the pretenders that are in there. Okay. So this is my discord 
Um, we haven't been making a lot of new ones. Uh, the past couple days, we've more been uh, playing with the mod and seeing how it goes. But um, yeah, basically you take like a picture of your pretender and there's a way to export like a text file that I end up copying and pasting into the mod. And yeah, so like here's one, God of Pangea. This is a dormant um, uh, Gorgon with larger and regeneration. So that's pretty cool. That'd be fun to fight. Um, and then here we've got a Fate Weaving Chillara Pelagia. That could be pretty cool. Uh, here we've got, uh, I think this was mine actually. Yeah, I put in a Hard Skin Magic Weapons Kraken. And uh, what do we have here? We've got a Zabalba Heat R Region uh, Strong Vitae. And then, I mean, there's just so many people have been posting. So, um, and, you know, this is like a, kind of a Stats Bless Micklin. Um, what is this? The Sun. Uh, Vanarus Inspirational Presence. So this is like a Scales build where you're giving um, some morale to your Scales troops with Inspirational Presence. And you can actually mix in. This actually is a cool thing. I don't... Does Righteous Wrath... Here, one second. I was wondering if uh, if Righteous Wrath could buff non-blessed, like non-sacred units. But no. It's only blessed ones. That'd be cool. I was like, that'd be kind of cool if it was a scales build that uh, focused on using the sacreds to buff up the non-sacreds. But that's not quite how that works. Um, got a Golden Lion. Basically impossible to kill with Fire Shield in region. Yeah, so anyway, there's just a bunch of cool things, and you know, you can see they're all pretty different. Uh, usually we're using, we want to kind of make use of a lot of different gods. We're not trying to make, like, necessarily the strongest builds for each nation, or even the things that the AI will use best. Uh, we're trying to just make fun, interesting things that would be fun to play uh, in a single-player game. So yeah, it should be pretty easy for you to install. If you want to come contribute to the project, come here and copy and paste things. Uh, and uh, yeah. See you later, folks.